Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on which animal spirits may be guiding you here in the month of September, as well as what other potential blessings may be coming in your direction. But before I begin, let me introduce myself for those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome. My name is Alexa Taro. I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. And of course, if you're interested in finding out more about me and my credentials and my story, then look down below in the description box and click on that Paths of Healing website. As you just saw here, Aquarius, whether you are a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, a card popped out of the deck here for you, okay? So we're gonna start um, talking a little bit about what is coming in for you. Now, the first thing I'm seeing here with this Black Jaguar um, is the word old soul. Okay. So you have here black Jaguar. And of course it says old soul. It says here, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Okay. So what I'm picking up here is there's this sense of protection. Okay. There's a sense of this black Jaguar being like a protective a type of uh, spiritual animal here for you in the month of of September. What I'm also getting here for you is this: there's this sense here of you walking into a period of more um, of confidence. I'm getting here like leadership, more confident uh, kind of leadership type of energy is what I'm getting here, and the fact that you have the power. Okay, it's like the magician energy and tower. You have the power and the passion here in order to create whatever it is that you are envisioning. Okay, so there's this sense here of kind of like getting to the root is what I'm getting here. I'm seeing the root chakra clairvoyantly here, um, which is the first uh, energy center of the body located all the way at the base of the spine. So what I'm getting here is like getting grounded, feeling grounded, just like the black jaguar walks on the earth. There's this connection of grounding here for you. Okay. And that's what's coming in for you very, um, you know, very clearly here. Um, and I feel that the sense of grounding for you, Aquarius, in the month of uh, September is what's really going to help you here uh, kind of like align more with that sense of confidence or show it, show it to others more or feel more comfortable in your skin. Now, black Jaguar here says old soul. So I feel here for some of you, this isn't your, uh, your first rodeo here on the third dimension. Okay. So this is a specific message. It may not resonate for all of you, but I am getting here. There's the sense of, um, reincarnation. There's a sense of connecting to past lives. Uh, some of you here in the month of September may feel, um, or may get dreams or visions or this kind of like deja vu feeling. Um, for others of you, strong intuition here in the month of September. All right. Of course there is a, uh, full moon coming up. So very interesting. Look what just came out of the deck for you on its own here, a pop-up. It says Fox. I'm, I'm getting here. There's this skillful, clever type of energy here. Okay. Coming in for you, the Fox guiding you. Okay. Being skillful, uh, resourceful, clever. All right. Also here, what I'm getting is the sense of teaching, uh, others or, uh, being able to, uh, allow yourself to learn something new here. And what I'm getting here with these two animal spirits, the black jaguar and the fox, by the way, here you got the fox. I'm getting here that there's this sense of you learning to skillfully use this sense of either intuition, 
for others of you is tapping more into your leadership or confidence skills. And for others of you here, kind of going deeper here in regards to spiritual awareness, okay? So that's what I'm picking up here with your animal spirits. You have the black jaguar and the fox here. Now let's take a look here at what blessings. Wow, Aquarius, you just have uh, cards popping up here left and right today. So you have here independent. Again, I talked about this earlier. I'll repeat it again, only because again, this is showing validation confirmation. So here we have this card. It says independent. There's a lot of yellow here. There are two, what look like either cubs or lioness lionesses okay here at the bottom um but of course it's just this lion energy and yellow is the color of the energy center of the body that has to do with what gut level feelings okay so intuition is connected there with that and also confidence okay the sense of believing in yourself here now it says here, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. And what I'm getting here for you, very interesting. This is also having a lot of yellow here as well. So root chakra, solar plex uh, chakra as well here, uh, allowing you to really, again, feel or feel comfortable here in your own skin. There's a sense of strength here as coming for your blessing or coming in your direction in regards to your blessing. Now, this could be mental strength, emotional strength, okay, spiritual strength. It could also be here energetically, uh, you know, feeling stronger, feeling more confident, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel here with either a situation, circumstance, or event, or person here as well. I'm also getting here that you're open. There's a sense of being open, okay? This person has their arms open, as in surrendering to the process or surrendering to the energy okay and you do see here a lot of petals as if this person is victorious or has successfully completed something or is look at this i mean you can't you can't make this up you have here the full card okay i'll talk about this in a minute but this person is surrendering surrendering themselves to the process surrendering surrendering themselves to accept Okay, feeling more comfortable in their own skin and also here being able to accept the accolades, the recognition, okay, that comes with a job well done. Now, not a coincidence here, okay, I don't believe in coincidence, there's always a reason here. You have two cards here who have their arms open. Again, a, a very clear indication here, um, Aquarius, that in this month of September, there's a sense of really leaping forward into either A, a new direction, or feeling more self-confident here about a situation, circumstance, event, a goal, or, um, you know, something related to either your love life, your career, or any other sector. Now you have here the full card. Uranus is the ruler here of this uh, full card in tarot. It is the destroyer of the old. That is what Uranus is. This is kind of like letting go of anything in the past that may have been keeping you, you know, kind of binded, or situation, circumstance, or event. This is a, uh, and what I'm getting here is like freedom or liberation here. Your opportunity here in the month of September, Aquarius, to really allow yourself, uh, yourself to open up, to make a new move, to allow yourself to embrace new opportunities. This is all about your leap of faith. Do you really believe in yourself? Do you really believe in your intuition? And I'm stressing intuition here because this person, if I come closer here, has an amethyst crystal on the palm of their hand, okay? Amethyst has a lot to do or linked with the third eye chakra, your ability to sense certain intuition, be able to see uh, either clairvoyantly or sense, clairsentience, clairvoyance, claircognizance, okay? Um, you know, and I'll, uh, down below in the description box, I'll, I'll 
put a link here of the six senses pick a card that I did um, a couple months back. So for those of you who are interested in that, you can take a look at that. But again, there's the sense of you allowing yourself to really open yourself up to a new move or to new opportunities. For some of you here, I'm getting a sense of spontaneity. There may be an unexpected opportunity situation, circumstance, or event where you will jump into or move into, okay, and allow yourself to travel down this new road. For others of you, there's a sense here of travel as well. For example, maybe talking about a trip, planning a trip, okay, being able to, um, you know, travel could, can mean different things. It could be physically traveling to another location. It could just be a new path as well, okay? This could also here with travel, I'm getting here promotion as well, okay? Or leadership skills here, all right? Kind of like being promoted. The color yellow is coming through very um, strongly here for you, Aquarius. You have yellow background here with the fox. You have the person in a yellow dress. And you also have another person here in yellow attire or yellow skirt, yellow dress. So a lot having to do, uh, I'm feeling here with your sense of willpower and your sense of confidence and leadership skills here in the month of uh, September. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for your love, your support, and your loyalty. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo, click down here, and up here for more messages, and I'll see you next time.